welcome uh, to this topic and this topic is like timely response to the event so basically you know, we'll talk about the events and the timely response so requirement says that respond to security violations by notifying the proper authority reporting needed evidence of the violation and taking timely corrective action when incidents occur so basically what does it mean like we need to have a proper uh, method in place so it can detect all those violations against the uh, baseline or against the policies whatever we have set up uh, that need to be detected and once it is detected we need to uh, do a corrective action with so for taking a corrective action we need some evidence and that evidence will be the log events incidents that that could be the evidence so this is about uh, the requirements so what we can do we can do monitoring of the remote access and communications to control system we can monitor all the types of the remote access whatever is happening from wherever and communications to the control system and components as well as file transfer operations so if some file transfers are happening we need to monitor them as well to help ensure that information and audit logs are assessed only from the authorized user so we already studied about that uh, use control that audit logs for all these things need to be generated and then it should be accessed by only the authorized user and workstations or, or any software program so real-time alerts uh, to be raised if unauthorized access and communications are detected so wherever we are saving these audit logs and these events those needs to be safeguarded by means of solution which can detect unauthorized access so let us fail command fail read command fail fetch command so these fail events so these will give us the real-time alerts if something unauthorized access or these things happen then components shall provide the whatever solution will implement that component shall provide the capability to be continuously monitored to detect so continuous monitoring should be there continuous monitoring means 24 into 7 monitoring characterize and report security breaches in timely manner so whatever solutions are in place so if it is an intrusion detection system it should be in 24 into 7 in place and it should keep on checking the traffic keep on checking comparing it with the baseline keep on comparing it with uh, with the policy and the rules whatever we have set in there then it should uh, report if there is any breach if there is any breach as per the uh, policies whatever we have set then it should uh, create an incident or uh, alert and send it to the seam or the centralized monitoring console monitoring can be achieved through a variety of tools so like i said that if we are putting ideas so uh, those, those techniques are there like uh, ids we can put ids is an intrusion detection system so what it does it captures the traffic and it analyzes uh, initially it makes a baseline that uh, this is the 10 mbps uh, baseline and this type of communication flows in this uh, from point a to point b so that is the baseline then if something alter happens something deviates from the normal routine traffic some malicious activity or some malicious protocol malicious ip address or malicious type of request goes into that traffic it detects and raises a alert that this is the deviation from the normal uh, traffic so ids we can implement then ips also ids is intrusion prevention system so we need to implement ids in parallel so it will not directly interfere to your communications but if we implement ips intrusion prevention system it is implemented in the series so if it detects some abnormality uh, then it uh, abrupts that communication it uh, halts that communication uh, at the same point it uh, quarantines that that communications or that protocol or blocks that ip even so some firewalls come with the ips functionality as well so because firewall is always implemented in the series communication so it has that capability to block that ports block that user block that protocol block that application so this also we can implement then network monitoring mechanisms also like there are network performance monitoring solutions from uh, solar winds manage engine uh, Cisco they have they have different solutions so what they do they actively query all those network components in the system and then based on that uh, again it has also rule set compliance set it has also the brain it has uh, machine learning and AI algorithms which can uh, differentiate between the normal behavior and the anomalous behavior so network monitoring mechanisms also uh, give a good insight it it has the uh, ip address uh, management tools also which can also see uh, keep the stake of the all ip addresses of the environment so if there is any anomalous or any deviation from the normal baseline then it can detect from that also signatures are there in the ids so it can compare with the signatures of old virus old malware so in that case if some malware or some uh, 
virus or worm comes or root kits comes into the traffic then in that case that that could be detected based on the signatures it has so signature based detection is there then anomaly based detection is there behavior and anomaly de based detection so these two types of ids ips are there uh, we can make use of that so let's move forward so let's discuss about the that continuous monitoring is the constant vigilance for external threats to your security controls continuous auditing is the constant testing of internal controls to make sure they are effective at preventive attacks or compliance failures so we need to put a continuous monitoring in place which can check all the communications whatever is happening in the network or on the endpoints also continuous auditing also we need to put so that we can test our compliance so we have a set of compliance that this device is compliant it has the data loss prevention module it has application allow listing it has antivirus all are updated backups are taken so this this type of compliance we can create and against that solution or that uh, software will check whether this device is compliant or not so that is one type of the continuous monitoring uh, we need to implement so what are the advantages of this continuous security monitoring so first advantage is that it will give you real time visibility into your data security data so that is the real time or near to real time we can say so it will help you to prioritize and manage risk consistently across the organization so you, you once you have a continuous monitoring you can constantly or consistently you can see uh, the risks of your environment you can prioritize your risk as well then we can provide cyber security metrics that can assess the state of security at all levels of organization so we studied in purdue level that we have level 0 to level 5 and uh, even it goes to level 7 as well so so uh, cyber security metrics that can assess the state of security at each level so for each level you will get a security state you can say that my level 2 is not much secure because uh, we have not enabled application allow listing there my level 3 is more secure because we have a industrial application firewall right below we have all those systems are passed all those systems are new latest and uh, backups are taken as uh, we have a business continuity program for that everything is there so uh, level wise we can see that what is the status of that level we can get it in detail monitoring the continued effectiveness of all security controls so whatever security controls we have implemented so we need to see what is the efficiency or efficacy of that control whatever we have implemented so uh, we can monitor the continued effectiveness of all the security control so if we have implemented antivirus so whether it is uh, detecting all those viruses or worms or it is uh, preventing those uh, uh, in in our network or endpoints as well or not then uh, next is verifying compliance with information security or ot security policies derived from the organization business functions federal legislation directives regulations policies standards guidelines and best practice so how do we make a compliance compliance is just a list of checks what we need to do against the business functions or federal legislation or, or the national uh, compliance policy or directives regulations or whatever we have so it will check that your device or your network or the organization or process is compliant as per those checklist or not so that that can also be done by the continuous monitoring and we, we can get get a compliance report based on based on those policies what we have implemented in the solution then then we have uh, assuring that you have good understanding of and control of the system in moment changes so any change management it is asking, it is talking about the change management uh, solution so whatever change is happening there um, are we uh, making a good understanding so all those change management process is following a procedure or not so is it going through the permit it is being authorized by the correct person or not so whose signature is there that auditing mechanism for the change management and approval mechanism for that change management is there or not so change management is basically like uh, if you want to do some changes in the system that should go through a procedure if you want to modify one logic that should go through a procedure it should first you need to take permit then you it will go to the approver then second approver then you will get a permit then you disable the security or you bypass the security and then modify the changes and then again revamp back what was the initial state of the system so that is a complete cycle we need to follow uh, with the all auditing purpose that you in later stages you cannot say that i have not done these changes 
improving our awareness threats and vulnerabilities so when we do all these things uh, obviously this all this data all this scattered data will con will converge into the information and then we can say that yes uh, definitely it is improving our threat awareness it is improving the awareness about our systems our uh, assets and vulnerabilities as well so that, that's all about the uh, continuous monitoring and timely response to events let's move to the next topic